At the University of Southern California, psychologist Skip Rizzo is developing a program to help diagnose children with attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Okay. Look around it's actually a psychologist's dream, the idea of being able to systematically design and control an environment and then record all performance or behavior in that environment. Rizzo has conceived a virtual classroom. There's a teacher here, along with virtual disruptions, like a paper airplane a child can follow simply by turning his head. A car driving by offers another distraction. And every time you see the letter X, I want you to hit the button on the mouse. This classroom might offer professionals a more accurate way of diagnosing the estimated 5% of American children with ADHD. Better diagnosis may cut down on medication in cases where it's not necessary. The primary treatment is pharmacological, um, using Ritalin and other forms of stimulant medication. And so there's been a lot of concern that, are we really diagnosing the disorder properly? And uh, one of the easiest methods that are used, but not often the best, is where um, a professional will sit with a behavioral checklist and ask the parents, does he do this, does he do that? Oh, here you got 18 out of 20, here's your Ritalin or here's your diagnosis. Rizzo hopes the virtual classroom will be available at low cost to schools and therapists. Though it's still in the experimental phase, it has already undergone some improvements thanks to better and ever-changing technology. The original classroom was rudimentary. The teacher appeared threatening and the car had no driver as some observant children pointed out. The new teacher might not look realistic either, but she is more approachable. The car now has a driver. It's not quite real, but as long as virtual reality is real enough, it can be effective. Oftentimes people see what looks like sort of a cartoonish representation of reality and wonder how it could ever possibly work. But the human brain has a tremendous capacity to suspend disbelief in things that come close to reality and you become involved. To actually recreate an exact replica of reality isn't necessarily essential for the reality to have some useful purpose. Hey.